If you believe such things, there's a beast does the bidding of Davy Jones. A fearsome creature with giant tentacles that'll suction your face clean off and drag an entire ship down to the crushing darkness. Dragon! The Kraken! The Kraken! I don't think it's Kraken anyways. Always heard it said Kraken. Well, we Bar always Kraken. pronounce it Kraken. No, 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 no. Crotland's how it's pronounced in the original Scandinavian. But what happened was Kevin McNally was the first character to actually speak it, speak the, the name of it, and he pronounces it Kraken. The Kraken. But the Kraken is a mythological creature, and actually it's an old Disney character because it's the same giant squid that uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea battled against. And interestingly enough, there was an article in the New York Times about how this Japanese crew had for the first time filmed a giant squid, and I think it was somewhere around 26 feet long and definitely big enough that if you saw that in the ocean, you'd think that's a sea monster, or if it got caught in your rudder, it could even take a ship down. Yeah, we, we use this, uh, the Kraken to uh, uh, chase Johnny and our heroes uh, around the seas, and he, he, it's enormous. It can s just swallow an entire ship. It has these tentacles that envelop you. Shadows are moving. Yep. She's tracking. We'll do a come in, we'll come out, and I'll say, okay, ready? This time we're going to do it. Okay. The Kraken at the moment is just Ghoul, the director running around going, I am a tentacle, I am a tentacle. And, you, and he's like, you know, be afraid, I'm a tentacle. And you go, ah, okay. Because we can't provide anything on set to show the actors what the Kraken is doing at any one time, so Gore worked with a, with a crew that did animatics of the, of the whole sequence, and he, he spent a lot of time doing iterations of this and cutting it and making a nice tight sequence that he was pretty happy with. We're going to shoot exactly these frames. We are going to fill it, create more depth. There's only like six animated characters. There's maybe 30 running around and guys shooting and poking and firing guns and do all this stuff. That oh, it's one over. That's a very nice rig. <laughs> this is uh, our first big wide shot of the Kraken attack. It's a big dolly move. There's effects happening all over the place. Sailors are being snatched up by the Kraken. We have all the effects going, water dripping, rattling, snapping, guys throwing spears at the, at the Kraken. This one is a good example of a really complex shot. So there was a couple of things that we needed to do in order to finish the shot also. As this first guy in the front gets grabbed, it was pulled on the side of the shot, but he's supposed to fly in the air after that. So at some point we switched to a CG character, so it's gonna be replaced by a computer graphic double. So this is like the early stage of animation that we see, where the guy gets grabbed from this plate, then it disappears on the side and gets replaced by a CG double. Then you can have him like do like all sorts of crazy thing in the air. I'm in favor of using CG for what CG is good for and using real practical elements wherever possible. They have a scale and a realism that's hard to do artificially. We're simulating a giant kraken that's coming and grabbing the ship and ripping it in two and pulling it down and killing everybody. We actually had two big giant pipes filled with 30,000 pounds of cement, so 60,000 pounds of weight crashing down on top of the deck. Today we're just doing the, uh, the physical effect of breaking the ship in half. If you notice the masts are missing because we'll be putting them in later. If we had them on now, uh, we couldn't get these cameras in close. In order to get the ship to split in half, here's what we had to do. We had to score and take all the steel out. This nice white cord, we route it through the wall so that'll blow out all the wood and split it in half at the moment. Got a haircut today in honor of the Kraken. Once this last camera guy's off, uh, are we ready to go hot? Copy that. When he's off, let me know. Start locking it up now, please. So everyone's off the boat. Everybody's off the boat. Okay, guys, let's get everyone to the lockups. Hey, 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 everyone yeah. to the lockups, hey, please. The effects department is ready to go hot. So stand by, please. OK, 
Okay, picture is up. Picture is up. All right, roll those two cameras. Roll, roll, roll. Let him get out. Let him get out. Let him get out. Clear out, folks. Clear out. Boats and crew, stand by. It all started with a plate that was shot in the Caribbean with a full-size boat. And we started by erasing those tentacles and later replaced them with some CG one. Uh, of course, there's a couple of places like this and this where we see that some of the boat pieces were missing. In the end, we had to take all the masts off the ship. The final shots all have miniature masts that were photographed uh, high speed and then added in. We shot a couple of people on another set so basically, all those crew members have been added on the deck right there. So we can see them pretty clearly in this side. On the other side, they're kind of all hazed in. There were a lot of onset environmental effects, the splashes, the, the flying wood debris. All those things, we relied on really good compositors to put tentacles back behind this piece of smoke, but in front of that, and behind this spray of rain and in front of that. Putting the, the tentacles into all of that, it was extremely difficult. Hey, can I uh, quick show you something here? Yeah. One of the uh, the, the main things that, that uh, we're still working on is really getting this, uh, the edge around here working, getting those, uh, the tentacles, uh, the suckers slapping against the deck. There'd be little tiny water splashes on a bunch of those. I think we need it to register, because it's so fast. It's just what is happening? Yeah. And we'll, we'll put a sound on there that's, you know, yeah, and I, I figured the splashes would kind of help uh, sell that idea of the things striking the edge. Okay, so this is a sequence that I'm working on. You finally get to see uh, part of the, the cracking close up, and it's, uh, we called it the maw um, for the sequence because it's this big gaping mouth filled with gack and goo. When the kraken uh, opens its mouth, a big stenchy, smelly goo comes out. So we're uh, starting to mess around, see where uh, Gore's heart really is in terms of the uh, Gore factor. Watching Saner, my stand-in, perform the demonstration for me. He stood there and took just a whopper. You know, one of those things that gives you the shivers. Ready, and action! You know, this stuff is made with uh, concentrated saline or hydrogen drops. It's one of the foulest things that's ever happened to me. The foulness of just living in it is wrong. Altogether wrong. This is great, this jet engine thing. Okay. These guys that hit Johnny. Yeah, we've got to connect them a little better. Yeah, we need to see them emerge from here somehow. Or... We're having a little trouble with the mats just because uh, the, the gag that's in the plate was over bright sky. Uh, and so it's almost the same color as the sky. But we are, yeah, we're trying to connect them. That's one big loogie. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Really, when you get down to it, it was absolutely disgusting. Not so bad. Good fun. Hello, beastie.